Let's make sure we're coming out live. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is December 27th, 2020, and we're doing an open discussion live stream on investing in personal finance. We've done a few of these. And uh, the way slowly it's going to start working out is uh, we're going to do sort of open discussion, uh, talking about the macro and the micro and stuff like this, and mainly on the macro level, right? And then I think we're going to tag team it with uh, looking at the markets and start introducing some of the ASMR mathematics stuff in there with uh, looking at uh, the stock market and return on asset and different types of markets, right? Uh, Aside from that, uh, we're going to continue doing what it is that we are doing. And um, as we wait for notifications to go out on Discord and Twitch, as for people to roll in, I'm going to give you guys uh, my little intro. If you want to know what this is about, I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. I'm doing sort of these uh, intros to these live streams before everyone starts rolling in. Um, that way we can get into the discussion uh, right away. But if you want to know um, what this work is about, Patreon is a great way to do so. If you want to support this work, Patreon is a great way to do so. There's a bunch of people, uh, a group of people that have been supporting this work through Patreon for a while now, since I went on Patreon. And for those of you who've been supporting this work for this long, and um, who put your sort of faith, trust into, um, and love into what I'm doing here. Thank you very much for your support. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this. Um, and without you, I'm not sure if we would have come as far as we have so far. So bottom of my heart, uh, I thank you very much for that. Um, and gang, as before, I don't put anything beyond paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share, share, a like, follow the work. If you think this work deserves your support, support this work through Patreon. We have a lot in store for you for the next few years to come, right? We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. If you want to participate in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at, okay? And uh, for those of you who've been supporting this work on Twitch, following, subscribing, liking, um, helping out with bits, redeeming uh, points, participating in the discussion. Thank you very much for your support and the mods on Twitch and on our Discord page. Thank you very much for your support, Elder God. How are you doing? Twitch sent awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, thank you for the heads up. And I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Parlor, LO, Minds, VK, Gab, and Twitter. And we do share additional content there and we also have a discord page and you can go to our twitch channel anytime and type in exclamation mark social and all the links will pop up and the last one there is the discord link there's a fair bit of people participating in our discord channel sharing information getting into uh, chill discussions and heated debates it's a uh, pretty good place to share information and work through some of the questions and some of the issues and some of the uh, perspectives you have, right? And we have people from the full, not just two-dimensional spectrum, but the full spectrum. Uh, and Discord also said, awesome, thank you, Elder God. I will be uploading the audio for this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as a podcast and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes shirtless kylo thank you very much for the tier one sub and welcome to another live stream greetings greetings plutorio how are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing well. Emily, how is life? And we will be uploading the this live stream to both Bitchute and YouTube, right? 
uh, because I don't anticipate this discussion going anywhere where the YouTube sensors will knock us out. And I'll try to make sure that we don't go in that direction. Uh, we'll keep those kinds of discussions on the politics, uh, current events, live streams that we are not uploading to YouTube. So if you are watching this personal finance, investing in personal finance uh, video on YouTube after the live stream, and you're curious as to where our current events live streams are, they are only now being uploaded to BitChute. So if you want to follow that work, you need to subscribe to BitChute. Um, Ian Vender, how are you doing? Happy Sunday to you as well. Happy Sunday to you as well. Life is fantastic, Emily says. Awesome, awesome. Let's stay clean. Let's stay clean indeed. Cheryl, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Gang, I got my tea. I got no uh ice this time okay cornelian cherry liqueur on the rocks uh, not on the rocks neat okay so cornelian cherry liqueur neat it's the one uh, i put together about uh two years ago three years ago two years ago two years ago three years ago and we're just finishing it off salute It is nice. It is strong. I got a little bit of bread. This is like Persian flat bread. It's called sangak. It's nice. It's just good as a sort of a little crunch, crunch, right? Toasted is fantastic. And I got some crab apple butter homemade crab apple butter the one you know the one you know it's a nice flavor tart i hope you guys have good snacks sleepy waves how you doing yo what's up chicho doing good brother this is the last stream of a I guess this was a four stream set. So just enjoying it. This thing that I'm eating is this homemade crab apple butter. If you go to our, uh, we have videos out of how to make crab apple butter. This is crab apples that we picked uh, from a, small town that we go to we have friends there and there's festivals we couldn't go to the festival this year but this is from the previous year we went to a festival and they have crab apple trees there so we pick up a whole crab whole bunch of crab apples on the way home and cook them up i wasn't hungry a minute ago <laughs> sorry <laughs> shirtless guy though chicho should i pour whiskey or wine uh we're going chill tonight i went hard yesterday i'd say pour some wine Pour some wine. Um, I got my sipper going, right? Neat. Cornelian cherry liqueur, right? So, just a sipper. Or go whiskey, but neat. No, no, no ice. <laughs> Emily. Jason White. Is the title updated to today's stream? It should be personal finance, investing in personal fi finance. I hope so. Yeah, it is. Looks like it. And that's what I sort of want to focus on. And by the way, gang, let me take these guys down first of all. If you want to get a macro, get a large scale perspective of what's going on in the world on an economic front i highly recommend following two economists right or two people that understand the markets well okay one of them is michael hudson and the other is martin armstrong they're on two different ends of the spectrum if you want to consider it to be two different ends of the spectrum right you need to be consuming both to have a bigger picture of what's taking place Martin Armstrong is more on the political side to a certain degree, but he knows the markets well, 
right? Michael Hudson is more of uh, the socialist side to a certain degree, and he knows the history extremely well, as does Martin Armstrong. Okay, what do you think about Bitcoin hitting twenty eight thousand five hundred today? Can anything stop it? It looks like it's not stopping. Uh, there's definitely things that could stop it for sure. But we've talked about this when it was when it started coming back up again. I mentioned that it can do based on the chart. Like if you look at the chart of Bitcoin, it it's it's a, it's a fractal of itself, right? So just looking at the chart, I mentioned that it was hovering around. 18,000, 19,000, 20,000 and it's, and I mentioned that it can it can easily do a pump up to anywhere between 35 to 45,000, okay? And when it does the last right? It will most likely if the fractal remains, right? If the pattern remains, it should come back down to around 18,000 or so. And this is speculation, by the way. Don't take this by heart. Don't don't bet your house on or anything. It should come down to around 18,000 and stabilize, and we'll see where it goes, right? And if it stabilizes the way it did between, and then maybe pop down to 50 and come back up again, do, do whatever it needs to do, right? And it might, and if it behaves the same way it did, go from coming, going, hitting 20,000, coming down to 32,000, and then kicking back up to 60,000, going up, going up. So, so. And if it continues to do that, then the next plateau should be around the last peak, and then another push, doubling, going up to 100,000, and stuff like that. If the fractal remains, right? If the pattern continues, what can stop it? A lot of things can stop it. Okay, regulation is one. Regulation can knock the crap out of it, stopping the flow of just flooding the markets with uh, currency. Like right now, we're at a time where zero interest rates or negative interest rates, right? If the central governments stop the taps, right, you should expect Bitcoin to drop dramatically. Right. One of the reasons Bitcoin is doing a jump is because there's a trillions of dollars thrown into Wall Street and Wall Street is in the Bitcoin business now. So everybody's chasing growth. So they're taking all that money, taxpayer money, and they're buying Bitcoin and they're putting it on balance sheets as they're calling it an investment or whatever it is. But it's a collectible. Right. Bitcoin now is no longer a currency. It is a collectible. It is a collectible that has certain uses right so uh, many things can stop it if they close the taps you're gonna see Bitcoin crash hard just like every other market okay spider-man how are you doing we're talking about personal finance can we talk about the complete joke of a stimulus and how Trump pretended that he wanted 2,000 checks then immediately signed the 600 once the Republicans said no sneaky sneaky uh, uh spider-man uh i agree with the 2000 but it should have been a 2000 on a monthly basis okay trump is trump trump doesn't give a rat's ass about american citizens only his voting block to a to a degree but not even right there's a core element the money right like it should be obvious to people now that trump is just another you know another of the same old same old right he had the opportunity to do a lot of the things that he had promised people to do and people had hoped for him to do but he didn't right one of the things for you to know that trump was just another politician another uh another oligarch was when he got into office right he kept on trash talking uh, stock market, saying the stock market doesn't reflect the blah 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 blah, right? And then when he got into office, he started he started uh, chirping that oh the stock market is doing well, so the United States is doing well, but General Joe Blow wasn't doing well. Unemployment was down. There were some indicators; certain things were improving relative to the Obama times, but. Uh, those numbers are fictitious as well right so trump is whatever trump is but the democrats are the same deal right 
six hundred dollars six hundred dollars <laughs> spider-man that that's like spitting in the face of every single american citizen while the world laughs at you right that's the way the world sees what's going on in the united states in canada like i haven't i haven't gone through the 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 money that canadian government made available for canadians right i i didn't want to get into that system right but in canada every person got anywhere was getting anywhere between i, I don't know like 1400 to 2000 dollars a month a month right since the beginning of the lockdowns right since the beginning of the pandemic holy shite right that's a huge difference huge difference cheryl wish i could have been a fly in that room haha <laughs> yeah jason white how can you regurgitate it though uh regulate it though they could ban it straight out ban it the u.s government like every, like for example and, and and let me finish reading what you said jason uh how can you regulate it though and honestly it it seems like the more government try to ban it the more valuable it becomes because it will be more rare it's like when banning drugs they just get more expensive uh well i i don't know about that right for example, a gram of weed, a gram of cannabis in Canada in the 1980s was $10, 10 to $15, right? Depending on what it was in the 1980s. Okay. Before legalization came into play in Canada, let's say two years ago, right? It was a gram of cannabis was still 10 to $15, right? There was barely any inflation in cannabis uh, really right now should a gram of cannabis be if you're buying individual grams we're not talking about buying bulk right should a gram of cannabis be worth ten dollars no it's a it's a weed everybody can grow it in their backyards right but when legalization comes in through the government's centralization of power all of a sudden in the stores right because now the government wants a piece of the pie the real estate developer wants a piece of the pie the regulators want a piece of the pie the this department of the government wants a piece of the pie there's there's people that want a piece of the pie right all of a sudden the gram of weed becomes more expensive right so not necessarily that if the government bans it the price will go up and stuff like this but here's a way they could regulate it in Canada, right? Before the government got into the business of Bitcoin, of cryptocurrencies, you could just buy and sell and trade Bitcoin, right? But all of a sudden, when all these exchanges came into play, if you wanted to open up an account at one of these exchanges to be able to trade, to be able to buy and sell Bitcoin, you had to give full disclosure your name, your identity, uh, where you could be contacted, your address, all this stuff, right? You have to give all this information to these exchanges to be able to buy and sell crypto, right? And then every node where you're converting crypto to fiat, that's being registered, right? If you stay in full crypto and you, you're not on an exchange, you got your anonymity, right? But if you're on an exchange, you're buying and selling crypto, there's an account of what you have if centralized power comes and says anybody that has crypto the crypto will be confiscated or and if you don't forfeit your crypto exchange it let's say the same thing they did with gold right exchange it at 25 dollars an ounce uh bitcoin they'll say we'll exchange it for a thousand dollars a hundred dollars ten thousand i don't know what they'll do right they'll just say bitcoin is now criminal to hold and majority of people got it have gotten into this game right because bitcoin is the control of the bitcoins are very centralized right there isn't it's not distributed out yet it hasn't been around long enough for it to be distributed out right so there's a lot of individuals or institutions that hold a ton of bitcoins right so 
it's not in everybody's hands where people can freely exchange it for it to become a possible alternative way of uh, trade, right? So it's become a collectible. So if they come out and outright say, you can't hold Bitcoin anymore, what are you going to do with it? You got to liquidate. Right? You got to get rid of it. There's a record of it, right? It's like when banning, yeah, no. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. And Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. For more information, please see our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist. And I forgot to add the hashtag free Assange on there. I took it out. I changed the last sentence. I'll add it on next time. I have more toilet paper. How are you doing? Good afternoon from the future. Monday, political stream. You know, current, um, not current events, personal finance. Graham Chicho, should I buy a fractional amount of Bitcoin and see what happens? Nothing too crazy, but it sounds like a solid investment. Uh, Graham, uh, it really depends. Uh, like, for example, look, here's the thing with Bitcoin, right? 10 years ago, you could have got 100 Bitcoin for a dollar. Like you could have got like seriously, right? Bitcoin was pennies on a dollar, right? People were exchanging Bitcoin in spreadsheets, right? And then the price went to a dollar and people were like, oh my god, dollar. And then it went up to 30. People were freaking out. And then it collapsed down to three, right? And people went, Oh, Bitcoin is done, right? And then from three it went up to hundred. And people were, like, oh, and then went 150 and it collapsed down to 30 or something. So it does this thing, right? The kicker is this if you got in 10 years ago from pennies on the dollar to a hundred your return is enormous right enormous right as you know you can just do the mathematics of it. return return on your investment is just off the charts right but right now Bitcoin is trading let's say 30,000 right what is the potential of Bitcoin 10 years from now, Bitcoin might be a million or it could be zero, right? Let's say. So right now is 30,000, right? So what's the multiple on it going to a million? Let's say maybe it goes to 300,000, right? How long has it taken? Look at the time span. Basically, I would do this. If, if anybody's thinking about it, getting into Bitcoin, as long as you don't think they're going to run regulations on you. Look at and we we put out a video on this if you go on our personal finance playlist and we do have a personal finance playlist where i did one video where i was talking about fractals in markets right the time frame i think i called it uh time frame of trading and stuff like this right so when you see uh action on something like bitcoin or even stock market does this good collectibles do this look at the pattern that you see in a short period of time and see if you can and what you want to look for is uh coming up stabilizing peak drop peak drop possible right and see if these and then watch it drop again and then see if you see patterns right and if you see patterns what you're going to notice is the pay, most of the payout is at the beginning like the multiples right and then the next pattern may be over an extended period of time, right? So it goes from here to here, same pattern, but the return is one order of magnitude less, right? And then the next wave could be longer as well, right? And again, one order of magnitude less. So how long has it taken Bitcoin to go from, let's say at the bottom, 3,200 in this last wave, 3200 to 28,000 right now or 30,000 right now that's a tenfold increase right so tenfold increase that was uh 32 i think that was like two years it took to do this right now also consider that the tenfold increase in two years you could have also acquired in other stocks as well other places as well right look at tesla tesla's done more than tenfold in two years i believe right so there are different places you can play as well so this one took 10 years for it to occur right 
the next wave, let's say this goes up to 40,000, 45,000, comes back down to 20,000 or something like that, stabilizes 15,000, maybe 25,000, whatever it is, right? The next wave of this might be four years and then a tenfold, uh, 10 times return, right? That's the way I'm looking at it, right? If it's money you need to live, I would not risk right because that your time frame might not match bitcoin's time frame or any market that you're going to go into time frame right so don't gamble with your lunch money okay however if you have excess money it's not a bad idea to divest diversify right would i be buying bitcoin right now at 28 30 i wouldn't be i wouldn't be personally because it's too it's too uh, the price is too high for me right now right if i had a ton of money like the way wall street just ended up getting it right those trillions of dollars just gang gang really appreciate what's moving the markets right trillions of dollars of u.s taxpayer money in the united states specifically u.s taxpayer money just went to wall street and they need to make it work for them right they got money interest-free basically interest free to do as they wish so what are they doing they're not opening up factories and giving raises to their employees and doing a lot of r d they're not doing this stuff right they're buying back their own stock they can only buy back so much while the executives sell right they're also looking into other places to park their money so they can make it look good on the balance sheets now that bitcoin is considered to be a legitimate form they, they've classified it as uh, uh you know if you're making gains on it uh, capital gains i believe right in canada anyway i believe right so if it's a form of asset then people are these companies these funds are buying bitcoin and throwing it on the asset throwing it on the books oh look we've had this much gains everything's just manipulation right now so you know play whatever game you want to play uh just make sure you understand what the game is process hi guys how how and where to invest how where to invest indeed or how to make money on stock uh, stock market we're going to start talking about we've already did one video on stock market i have toilet paper to share i share let's sleep haha uh -huh. okay people talking to each other spider-man it's the same thing with how bottled water came about water should be a human right spider-man i 100 percent agree with you water should be a human right unfortunately wall street wants to commodify water and they're they have to a certain degree right so they're putting a price tag on water if you want to know how corrupt wall street is when you commodify everything in life look at a documentary called uh uh oh my god it was the tip of my tongue uh the, the, the on enron um last person to leave it um there was a documentary on enron right and watch that documentary uh oh i forget what it's called uh, anyway uh it's a disaster okay cheryl we did thanks even a little snow okay people are talking together I had 120 Bitcoin three years ago. I regret getting rid of it. Oh, it would have been over 3.5 million now. Do you have any tips on how to avoid those regretful uh, thoughts? Uh, Jason, if you had 120 Bitcoins, if you believed full heartedly in Bitcoin, right? In the concept of cryptocurrencies and that the whole thing with crypto and blockchain technology has changed a little bit right i don't think bitcoin is any longer true to its original source right i wrote an article on this a long time ago right however one way you can avoid stepping out of the market and this is this is what it's called you step out of the market if you wanted to stay in the market maybe you should have only sold half of your holdings in crypto in bitcoin right maybe only sold 60 bitcoins right instead of 120 and then that you would and that way you would have still been in the game right and that is one of the fears uh and it's a legitimate fear legitimate 
problem when people are in a certain type of market if you're in a market and the market does what the market does it goes up it comes down it goes up it comes down right everything's cyclic right if you're in a market and you believe this is a legitimate market it's not just a pump and dump right then unless you're willing to step away from that market and realize that the market might leave you behind then don't fully step out right that's one way you can avoid being burnt in this way uh, this is one of the things that happens in real estate and collectibles and cryptos and stocks and everything right you, no one says that you have to liquidate your all your holdings in a certain market you can you can liquidate some take it off the table and diversify into other markets right that might be if your market if you, if what you're investing in is really hot right now the odds are there are certain markets certain things that are pretty low right now so it's not a bad idea to downsize this a little bit and kick this up a little bit right everything is cyclic there's a lot of uh, message traffic on bit uh, message traffic on bitcoin and some of some of my encrypted uh, encrypted i follow but it's all gibberish to me yeah. are etf investment risk free no absolutely not exchange traded funds I have toilet paper we've had we've just had mcdonald's move from plastic straws to paper straws sounds like a small change but it's pretty huge for the environment i've been advising people to invest in biodegradable straw companies for years as the movement uh, away from single-use plastic has begun uh i have more toilet paper for sure there's going to be this disruptive innovation coming up and new industries popping up. It's not a bad idea to get a foothold on the bottom for these things. One of the ones I've been recommending are cannabis uh, uh, companies, right? Sleepy Boy Chicho, yo, I remember two years ago looking at the Bitcoin at 3600 on this live stream. Wish I would have, have bought at least one. Yeah, Sleepy Waves. I remember someone came up to me then i can't remember who it was because when bitcoin went from we've been doing bitcoin uh, anyway when bitcoin was sitting at like twenty thousand, right i came out and said uh i threw i said uh, kaiser has been covering uh max kaiser has been covering bitcoin for a while right and i said you know what kaiser's pumping this thing right he should know that once an asset an investment goes up tenfold in a, such a short period of time because it went from like 2,000 to 20,000, pretty speedy Gonzalez, right? Or 1,500 to 20,000, pretty speedy Gonzalez, right? I said, he was telling people to buy. I was telling people to sell, right? I was, I was like, man, get out, right? Like, if you're not happy with a tenfold return, right? You don't have to pull out completely, but it's not a bad idea to sell and buy at a lower price. And I'm, and then Bitcoin came down to 12,000. And I mentioned that my bottom for Bitcoin on that movement and that cycle was around 2,800. And someone came up when Bitcoin was around 34, 35 and said, hey, Chicho, you mentioned that, you know, 28 was your bottom. Do you think this is a good time to get in? I go, man, my bottom is 28. I think it went down to 20, uh, 32 or something, right? But I mentioned that when it's come down that much this difference doesn't make a whole lot of difference right this much if you wanted to get in it was a good time to get in right my recommendation right now i can't give you guys recommendation I, i've already mentioned that it might pop up and i mentioned this when it was trading into the teens right i i mentioned that you know it might pop up to 40 35 to forty-five thousand. but once it does that if you're not taking a little bit off the table at 45,000 or 40,000 right and gang free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information please see our Julian Assange on WikiLeaks playlist Sleep with Chicho. Have you ever seen the documentary Hyper Normalization? Um, it rings a bell. I can't remember. 
Carlos, how are you doing? Chicho, what's up, brother? Glad I finally caught a stream. Fellas, Navidad. Hope all is well. Free Assange, free Assange. <laughs> Superways, do you think uh, it will ever drop back to around 3,500? Well, let's go down to 3,500. Maybe on the way down permanently. maybe on the way down permanently um, and if that's happening then it's a tradable it's just you're flipping it and could it yeah merry christmas in spanish haha <laughs> feliz navidad feliz navidad did i pronounce that right i don't think i did and but Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and a Happy New Year. Love the all black uh, politics stream book. The Conan. See you guys process sweet dreams or good morning. See what damn she showed that Spanish is weak. <laughs> sorry <laughs> salute gang salute cornelian homemade cornelian cherry liqueur let's see if it'll focus will it will it will it focus this close i don't think so man i hope that's not making you guys dizzy there you go neat right morning good morning process yeah like sustainable is a good place to be really it's a good place to be there is serious uh novel industries that are popping up on the market right we are going through some major shifts transitions in the world there are great investment opportunities and there are some horrendous investment choices out there don't make the horrendous ones you're gonna get burned hard are bitcoins connected to china uh china outlawed them banned them all the exchanges so all the exchanges had to move out of china um there is still i'm assuming a lot of chinese that still own bitcoin but it's on the down low uh, I don't think China is going to allow Bitcoin to get a foothold. Um, they're going to try their hardest not to not to allow it to happen, right? If any, like no centralized power, no centralized bank, uh, government is going to allow Bitcoin to get a get a foothold in their countries or globally. So uh, there's still the possibility. They might come out and do a conversion and say okay all cryptos now you have it's like india saying everybody has to exchange these high denomination bills down to the new denomination or lower denomination they could come out and say all cryptos have to be converted 90 98 percent of the cryptos are not even going to be convertible right if not more so there's going to be a handful of cryptos they're going to say possibly you can exchange it for this now digital currency that is controlled by centralized government and that basically is the beginning stage of eliminating cash from the world economic system which will be basically our final straw on the nail of us going completely totalitarian which is devastating right uh, that we should not allow that to happen so there is a serious drawback to cryptos because it might have just been you know there's there's the possibility that blockchain bitcoin was a psyop uh, a centralized uh, move by central banks to get people used to a digital currency right and then eliminate cash so they control everything right so be careful I, it's blockchain technology for sure legit awesome but 
the way they're rolling out Bitcoin and these exchanges and the regulations around it is becoming problematic. And anybody that's just doing a pump and dump, man, be careful. Stay away, Shisho. Is there anything, companies, you are becoming more valuable aside from Tesla or Bitcoin? Uh, I wouldn't put money in Tesla right now. Uh, I don't think th the the only reason Tesla's shot up is because the U.S. government has conch. It, it's basically a military. Uh, Tesla is connected to SpaceX and stuff like this, but Monk, uh, Alan Monk is, is basically an asset, a Pentagon asset, right? So all it is 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 paper gain. There, there isn't really uh, the essence there, right? Should Tesla be trading at what is it, six hundred and fifty dollars after five for one split? No. Uh, Bitcoin possibly cannabis I've mentioned cannabis companies right Steve which you show I freelance for an online education platform here in the States but unfortunately they aren't a public company so I can't invest in them uh, you can invest in different uh, types of education right and look in the United States we're about to see uh, in my opinion uh, we're about to see major austerity kick in we're about to see major unemployment we're about to see serious homelessness kick up we're about to see more money go towards wall street okay uh, there's serious uh, there's going to be cutbacks in education in healthcare, and everything right i think the united states is about to go through austerity right be prepared for it and I think in large part, uh, a lot of the Western countries are about to go through austerity. Grow a forest. I bought $30 in Bitcoin 12 days ago. It's 41 now. Fun experiment so far. Nice. How much did you pay to, to do the buy? How much did it cost you to do the trade? Or was it on an individual basis? Cryptem. Hey, Chicho. What about... Uh, uh, psychotherapy i think it's a good time to invest in that industry uh psychotherapy uh entheogens is that what we're talking about crypto uh entheogens the rollout on approval on entheogens is going to be it's going to take a long time right like oregon just legalized the use of uh psychedelic mushrooms for therapy right uh, but there's so many hurdles because centralized power is putting all these hurdles in right regulation and all this stuff so it's really in its infancy right cannabis it is its infancy but it's at the beginning it's already gone through the first few hurdles right now it's the growth period so now with the group because the hype is already done if you looked at cannabis stocks the initial hype was insane it was like the dot-com bubble right boom right and then boom, things crashed down to 90 uh, 90 90 95 percent drop right so and that's a good time to buy into as long as the industry is going to maintain right so uh, for the long term yeah but it's going to take a long time man. long time probably sean chicho what investment you think are stable uh, for what's your time period sean what are what are stable and what what's stable right like if you're doing low-end investing where you're looking for huge gains then those aren't going to be stable to a certain degree because it could go huge up huge down right if you're looking somewhere where if there's a serious downturn you might only use, lose 10 15 20 percent of your investment as opposed to gaining 5 10 15 20 percent if you consider that to be stable you know there's different markets there and it really depends where you are right this is this has become very micro based there is macro investments you can make and micro investments you can make like people say go into real estate real estate where would i make a huge investment in the real estate in new york city absolutely not new york city is about to go belly up all right 
it within reason not belly up completely detroit style right but new york city is about to go some serious hard times would i buy real estate in new york city absolutely not they're funds hedge funds that are pulling out of new york and going to florida so is florida a good place to buy real estate possibly right possibly so you have to really look at where you are and what your time frame is gratis and you can just do low end right you can do what you can invest in markets you know right for example if you're working in an industry right let's say you do whatever it is that you're doing okay if that's a viable industry it's viable enough to hire you to pay you to work in that industry and you think it's sustainable then why not look into how you could invest in that industry if you really think it's a it's, it's a good place to be if you like it right now that's not really diversifying too much but that gives you the first taste of investing right now don't stay 100 percent in that industry your work is in that industry and your investment in that industry because if that industry goes belly up you're pretty much screwed right so you can if you've never done any type of investment investing you could look into the industry that you're most familiar with to start playing that market because there are multiple different markets in the world to understand your own abilities to trade to invest to understand the market fine-tune your skills and then take that knowledge that you acquired by playing around in the industry that you understand and apply it to other places right that's the way you should approach these things uh gracchus honestly if any chatters want to make a big buck investing in crypto might as well invest in tesla and play the volatility yeah i agree uh and tesla i wouldn't go long right now like i wouldn't go long reno mike i can't wrap my head around the value of crypto like how you determine the value uh, the market determines the value right how much money like the value of crypto is based on so many things right now right it's based on the flood like how much money the taps are turned on by central power right central governments right now are flooding the markets with money like just open up the tap trillions and trillions right so there's free flowing money if you're one of their own right me and you aren't right but if you're one of these connected to these people that are letting all this money loose you get all this money trillions of dollars hundreds of billions of dollars billions of dollars. what are you going to do with it i don't know do you buy real estate crap you can't they no real estate is teeter-tottery especially commercial real estate okay and you already have enough commercial real estate housing market yeah it takes management fees this uh and maybe you already have enough housing market thanks to obama when they flood the markets and wall street bought all the houses right so you're looking for places to park your money and get returns right so it, it a huge part of it is how much money is coming in the other part of it is uh stability of certain governments uh, another part of it is international money flow right another part of it for sure is if you want to stay anonymous uh anonymity is huge to transfer a certain amount of money from here to here another one is just accessibility it's easier for people right now to let's say someone in the united states wants to transfer a thousand dollars from the united states to africa right to a country in africa well sometimes it, it's cheaper and faster not sometimes it absolutely is cheaper and faster to do it through crypto right so this party over here can say hey where's my money and this party say okay i'm going to transfer you a thousand dollars do you have a crypto uh, exchange uh, account or do you take crypto this person says yeah i take crypto they say okay this is how many bitcoins i have to transfer over to you for a thousand dollars acceptable acceptable done over no intermediary no banks no exchange funds no nothing 
You just transfer the funds. Boop. Done. Right? So there, the market decides it. Right? Once, if there's more and more regulations from governments, uh, they tighten up the control of money, try to strangle hold the population, you're going to see the value of crypto go through the roof. Right? If they eliminate cash, you're going to see the value of crypto go through the roof. Right? There's a lot of people that are holding a lot of uh, bitcoins, cryptos that are working with centralized governments or promoting centralized governments or hoping that centralized governments eliminate cash, right? Because that increases their value. Well, that goes 100% against the whole philosophy of why blockchain technology was there is to blockchain technology was introduced to provide anonymity and freedom to individuals, right? Outside of regulations. If there's a whole bunch of people that hold Bitcoin and these cryptos that really want the government to get more control because they want to cash out, they want to be worth bazillions of dollars, then they're my enemy, right? It's simple as that. So you have to make a decision on where you stand on principle. If you're just into making money, if you just want to become extremely rich, man, there's so many different markets you could get into. So many different markets you can get into. Right. Like, for example, if I was working in Hollywood, sorry if I'm going off on rants, gang, I'm not catching up with the chat, but let me give you an example. Let's say I'm, I'm in I'm working for movie studios. Right. Let's say I'm working on a film that they're shooting a movie uh, based on a superhero character. Let's say either Marvel or DC character. Right. I'm on this movie set there shooting this movie and i know who the what the storyline is i know who the characters are both the heroes and the villains right and i know maybe if there's going to be a second part coming in right if i know who the main character of the movie is the main focus central hero is and the main antagonist is right Personally, if I was working on that movie studio, I would find out where they made their first appearance in the comic books, and I would take thousands of dollars or whatever it took to buy a ton of the first appearance and the origin story and the death of that character and the story that is being told in the movie, right? I would buy those comic books, right? That's their first appearance. And when the news comes out that this is the story arc and stuff like this, you're going to see the price of those comics shoot up, right? Then you can sell half of your holdings, right? As the value is going up, when the movie hits, if you think the movie is going to be really, really good, hold on to some of it because the price will continue to go up. If you don't think the movie is going to be very good, maybe you want to liquidate all your assets, right? that's the way you can play the market associated with what you know right and gang free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information please see our julian assange and wikileaks playlist sleepy way chicho you're always mentioning cannabis stocks but there are so many companies um do you have any recommendations for any you have been following over the last year? I, I mentioned some of them and I told people don't. Uh, Elder God, thanks for the subscribe, brother. Uh, don't buy into the ones that I said. But there was a couple I mentioned that have already gone up like three, four, five fold, right? There's one of the companies that I mentioned that just merged with another company. They're both Canadian. They merged with another company, a cannabis company, one on the West Coast, one in Toronto, and they're more powerful now, right? I can't recommend stocks because my time frame may be different than yours. My perspective may be different than yours. I can just say the industry looks good. It's in its infancy, right? It's like asking me, 
in the 1990s, which uh, technology companies would be good places to park your money in the early 2000s? You should do your research. Because if you're asking, you don't know, you know the industry you want to get into, but you don't know which one to get into. And you just buy in based on a recommendation, right? And you ride the wave, let's say it goes up, but you don't really understand the market, that industry. What that means is you won't know when to cash out, right? And that is the problem people have. So my advice is if you want to get into an industry, do research, get into a market, do your research and see how everything's playing out. Yeah, always play what you know, I Booker says. Indeed. Huckleberry, how are you doing? Sorry I'm late, everyone. What did I miss? Uh, personal finance discussion. Electric Shepherd 6086. How are you doing? Evening, Chicho. I'm so financially and economically illiterate. What would be your advice to someone like myself who would like to? Uh, my question to you is, have you ever bought something at a really good price? Shepherd? Electric Shepherd? Like, you must know something about a certain market. Like, if you're a gamer, do you know if there's any games that have gone up in value or gone down in value? Uh, collectibles. Uh, if you're in uh, in recreation, is, is there is there anything associated there? If you're in the film industry, if you're working on film, basically investing, personal finance is managing your money. The first thing you have to understand, gang, if you if you want financial uh, independence and this is what this is about financial independence irrelevant of what you want to do in the world if you want to build hotels and have tons of real estate around the world that's your understanding of what financial independence is you have to reach that stage if you want to live in a modest home and read your books and uh, have a family and just do your own thing and have your garden that's your idea of what financial independence is, right? So financial independence is different for everyone as well, okay? But one thing you have to appreciate is uh, you you acquire knowledge about markets and invest, investing with time because you have to live your life, right? But the best advice I can give you is make sure you're not over you're not spending more than you're bringing in, right? Our current economic system is built on debt, okay? That's a major problem, by the way. It has a serious problems associated with it. It was fine and dandy when the debts were very small, right? But now that the debt is just over the top, it's unsustainable. That's why they're talking about the Great Reset and stuff like this, right? Uh, bonds, bad place to be and whatnot, right? A lot of governments and counties and cities are bankrupt. Uh, they're 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 selling their infrastructures to foreign lands and capital and stuff like this. it's just disaster right but one thing you should do for yourself if you make two thousand dollars a month let's say right don't be spending two thousand five hundred dollars a month okay that's just on a regular basis every month right every now and then you might have to spend three thousand you were in a negative you should have a little bit of savings you should have a certain amount of investing right so personal finance the first order of business is a is balance your books don't go into debt preferably build a little bit of surplus now if you're building a little bit of surplus you don't know what to do with this put it on the side right put it on the side once your surplus reaches a level where you're like okay I have money there I could take a vacation you know go party my ass off or something like that uh, that's fine and Danny you're acquiring experience but a lot of people just function on that basis and that's okay that's their own life they want to do they balance their books they build a little surplus and whatever surplus they have you know they take a certain percentage of that and go vacation and stuff like this and they hope that by the time they retire they're gonna have enough money to retire on 
and they're not investing this money. If you're not investing your money, you're foolish because just by saving, you will be bankrupt. Uh, you'll be homeless most likely. Uh, we've gone past the stage of just being able to, in our in a Western current economic system anyway, for now, and this is immediate, right? A year from now might change. We've moved away from, unless you're making mint coin, right? We moved away from a time where you can just park your money and be able to retire on interest gain from that and your bank account. You need to be able to invest that money. That's why we're seeing all this rising in in assets right so you know I'm, I'm 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 sort of dodging the question where to start the best place to start is look at your own finances balance your budget build up a surplus once you've built up a surplus look into what you love right and then look into how you can invest in what you love right if you love movies right or games a lot of people were on twitch a lot of people are gamers right if you like games right a lot of gamers build their own computers so you're building computers you know who who's coming up with the best chips best best graphic cars best computers best whatever right so if the buzz in the gaming industry is nvidia has this graphic cars which is phenomenal or amd has these chips which are phenomenal or whatever it is right or this company is bringing out headsets and uh, mics that are the best that no one can do anything about and you buy this product and you think it's mom's apple pie it's phenomenal right one place you can invest in or do your research and look into that company is this company public if it's public Look at its, look at look at what its share value is doing. If this is something brand new that I've introduced, and their share value is flat like this, right? And they haven't even realized the initial gains on this new product that they're releasing, and everybody's buying it. That means you got insider information. Buy stocks in that company. Try it out. You might lose everything, but don't put everything in it play around a little bit get to know what the markets are really invest in what you experience in your life and what you see what you what you know okay i broker my advice crypto is more like gambling than investing i agree with brokers just it's gambling uh, it still doesn't have proper intrinsic value the intrinsic value is the anonymity and the freedom to trade but that freedom has been slowly taken away uh, but it the stock market is gambling as well by the way what's your take on real estate it, it really depends on the, where the real estate uh, like I mentioned I wouldn't be buying property in New York City I wouldn't be buying property uh, actually Vancouver is a different story there's a huge exodus out of Hong Kong right now and unfortunately for Canadians that first-time buyers apartments or houses or whatever they wanted to get we might see a huge influx of Hong Kong residents Hong Kong money coming to Vancouver and it's going into the UK so UK and Vancouver and certain hubs where a lot of Hong Kong money moves to might see a huge increase in real estate prices right and New York will not be one of them okay so real estate depends and commercial real estate get the hell out of commercial real estate commercial real estate is about to do a major belly flop right back in 2014 broker says I lost 10,000 100,000 euros in one night just because i didn't take my funds out of the oh and mount mount gox early crap brother damn the u.s government took all your bitcoins and they auctioned them off elder god they take bitcoin in the uh dw of course i know nothing about this crypto doesn't have dynamic settings of value that is why they depend on fiat indeed shit i better buy some batman comics <laughs> five emotes shared cool gifted shared rewards to five other chats nice 
Anonymous gifted Elder God a tier one sub. Awesome. Thank you, Anonymous. Appreciate it. I'd appreciate the gifted share rewards to five other in chat. Very nice. Sleep away, Chicho. Don't worry. I'm planning on taking this uh, as financial advice. I just, not the, I hope not taking this. I just want to begin to track some cannabis stocks. Um, look into Tilray. Okay. Look into uh, Tilray just merged with another company in Toronto. So look into that as well. The news from that. And all you got to do, and then there's uh, uh, another one that's uh, cannabis uh, hemp cigarettes uh, out of BC as well. Um, salute, gang. Um, and all you got to do, by the way, Sleepy Waves, go into some financial websites type in tilray right and then there's canopy uh is is interesting as well they're one of the, well canopy is having financial problems i think a lot of these things are functioning on a negative by the way right they they depend on money coming in so be careful right if the taps stop these things might do not another serious dive right uh, but it is an emerging industry. But one thing you can do is if you're interested in a company, you find a company that is in, is in the industry you're interested in, right? Do a search for the stock, look at it, and then look at the news attached to that. And read up on the news that's being released related to the company that you're, you're looking up. And in those news releases, they will, not, not the official company news releases, but analysis news releases, they'll talk about their competitors right or other companies in the same industry and start looking at those that's how you go follow the branch right so just do it that way fire flower virtual aviation channel kebabs how you doing chicho thoughts on buying bitcoin in its current state should i buy buy now and hold or wait for a dip and buy that look man i'll, I'll say this when it was in the high teens, I said that Bitcoin can do a serious major pop up double, go anywhere between 35 to 45,000, right? In a short period of time. It's doing that move right now. Does it still have legs? Yes, yeah, got legs. Okay, but if you buy it at 28,000, 30,000, it goes up to 40,000, right? That's a quarter, uh, that's a third, 30% gain, right? Are you still going to hold, wait for it to come? A 30% gain, you can. You can play any market you want. So if you're looking for the long, long ass term, kebabs, I can't, I can't tell people to buy and sell uh, because it, I, if I say buy now, I might decide that it's a good time to sell tomorrow, but we're not doing a current events live stream, right? I don't know who's buying or selling based on what I say, right? So let's say it's a great time to sell tomorrow or for the next week and then three weeks from now it's lower than what it is now and then people pop up and say oh look it went down i go well shit how come you didn't sell <laughs> right i know this because i used to give advice to people and i realized uh, we all don't look at the same thing in the same way right and gang, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, please see our Julian Assange on WikiLeaks playlist. Gang, I'm going to scroll down. Oh, okay, cool. I'm not that far down. Uh, evening, Joe Feline Juice. How are you doing? Spartan 3004. Uh, sneak professional advice. Uh, seek professional advice indeed and be careful with that professional advice a lot of the professional advice me and you are going to receive are just going to be low hanging uh low people on the totem pole right they're they get the last word they're they're be, they're being told what to pump right but seek professional advice a lot of a lot of banks will not charge you and they won't to talk to their financial advisors go to like three or four go walk into a bank or a credit union and say i want to i'm thinking about investing in the markets in the stock market or starting a fund and then they'll ask you some question how you know 
what's your name and stuff you you can you can be anonymous to a certain degree you can just say look i'm not comfortable telling you how much money i have or anything like this i just want to see what services you guys provide right and then they'll ask you well we need to know what your risk tolerance is and how much capital you have you can say my risk tolerance is medium or high that means you can afford to be in fast moving things or your list tolerance is low low there's three three levels really low medium and high right choose your poison right say it's high and let's say you have you're looking to invest around fifty thousand dollars in this first wave of investment walk in listen to these financial advisors they'll ask you what your plan what your uh, what you envision yourself to be in the future 20 years from now what your goals are what your expenses are uh, how much income you're bringing in to start asking this stuff anything you're not comfortable in answering don't don't answer them and just say look I'm I am a comfortable I'm living a comfortable life okay you can say you own money uh, you own property you don't own property up to you you can put a value on it walk in with a plan right and start talking to these financial advisors for the first one you get into you won't know anything you know you won't know too much and they'll probably be able to know that you don't know too much right but because they're not 100 percent sure and they're looking to get your money keep that in mind they, they want you to put money with them right because they get money that's their income right so they'll they'll go okay they, they they can't read this so the initial person might pass you down to a lower level person that's fine learn from that exchange of information right fine-tune your skills for the next bank you go talk to right and then walk in now you're better prepared it's like going to an interview do it again do it again there's tons of banks in most cities go do it again and then there's private investment companies do it again do it again do it again do it again that's like going to school and learning terminology learning how the game is played that's your education so when you're balancing your budget making sure you're not spending more than you're bringing in and you're building a little bit of capital on the side you know treat yourself to a lunch when you go out to eat right go have a lunch make it a day or make it an afternoon with someone your partner by yourself or with a friend or whatever right that's you spending money to get an education right you're not paying the school to do it right what you're investing is your time and you're spending money for lunch and a drink and maybe a good time with a friend go there with a friend say hey there's two of you guys you want to invest some money come up with a plan and see where it goes right don't be afraid to ask questions and seek information okay probably Sean how does your research process look like uh, or websites you recommend for investing in US cannabis industries uh, right now I'm just looking in the stock market right what what I do for the research I basically look at a certain company a cannabis company that I know right and then I follow them I look at their financials and I follow the news coming out on a certain company right so when I find a company I don't go and I, I don't do a buy now right no right do a little research follow that company for a while listen to the news reports right listen to what they're releasing what the analysts are saying about that company from there you're going to learn about the other companies that's how you learn about an industry right and then all of a sudden a little bit of time spent following a certain company on the stock market can get you a lot of information a lot of information Gracious. Chicho, do you think there's an uh, equity bubble uh, with these high? Indeed, I think there's a bubble in everything. I think the stock market is a huge bubble. And by the way, gang, keep this in mind, right? 
you don't when it, when you go to invest somewhere they'll say all of these first time financial advisors they're riding the wave up right their main strategy is to make money with a stock price going up realize that you can also make money with a stock price going down right so you don't have to just make your money on the way up which is what they're trying to get people to do you can make it on the way down you can go invest in certain funds where they're buying a certain stock on the stock market right and what they're doing is they're writing calls so they don't expect the stock price to go up right but they're writing a derivative which is called something calls which is we'll get into later in future videos that we're going to do right future and what they're doing is they're writing the stuff off and they're scraping off anywhere between it depends how they're managing it if they're managing it well they can scrape anywhere between five to ten percent per year by doing this right and then the fund managers will take half of that cut or, or let's say the bank will take a third of that cut the fund managers will take a third of that cut and they'll pass a third of that to you which is you may end up making three to four percent gains per year right electric shepherd thank you for your answer show my pleasure my pleasure i will definitely seek out that uh, uh that playlist cool my friend is coming to the uk from hong kong yeah there's going to be a lot of there's hundreds of thousands of people going to be pulling out hong kong legendary rob boss how are you doing i mean most any purchase is gambling if you think about it you're always taking a risk no matter if you are investing in food from the grocery store or buying a car make educated purposes to mitigate and reduce risk yeah and gang everybody gets burnt everybody gets burnt i've been burnt you've been burnt right learn from your mistakes don't dwell on it don't be afraid to put your feet in the water again right everybody gets burned we'll just learn from it right spartan read the wealthy barber kebabs all good chicho i'll take my 20k to the casino and put it on red thanks uh maybe remember if you put it on red depending if it's old school roulette tables or the newer roulette tables they introduced in the 80s or i believe in the 80s it either has one zero or two zeros if it's got two zeros you're your probability of winning is less if it's got a one zero your probability of winning is more right and your probability of winning is still less than the casino <laughs> elder got ten thousand k on bitcoin i really want to invest elder god you should have gone in when i was telling you about it earlier <laughs> Hey Chicho, I don't catch too many streams, but I appreciate your positivity in my in my YouTube's. Uh, my pleasure. Daking, daking, staying, daking, 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 staying, daking. <laughs> a gang, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information please see our julian assange and wikileaks playlist r s blunden is there any common wisdom on what percent to set up my 401k for on what percent i'm not sure what you mean by on what percent uh Gracos, are these funds just collecting option premiums basically yeah yeah they're letting what they're doing is the stock price is doing this let's say stock is sitting at 20 dollars right they're writing calls on at 21 dollars let's say let's say the beta for the stock is like zero it doesn't move right it's just stable right or whatever the beta value is right let's say it doesn't move okay if it doesn't move if you're writing a call at 21 dollars right basically what you're doing is you're collecting the options premium let the let the calls expire you grab it or sell the calls at some point if you want and individuals can do this right elder god and some people just straddle the stocks right 
but I was holding from my second pub. Elder God says, I know, but I was holding from my second pub. But that's frozen now. Oh, no, is it? Crap. Shoot. Uh, right now, maybe. Uh, maybe. But you got to be quick on the trigger. Bread and apple. Uh, crab apple butter. Good snack. Good snack. Salute, gang. And gang, there's a lot of stuff going on internationally. Right? On the international markets. With international... Like the global economics right now is crazy. You have to have that perspective in mind with this, with these lockdowns, right? There's going to be a serious collapse in a lot of different industries. When the dust settles in this, as long as we don't allow centralized power to take everything, right? Uh, we come out of this if we're able to come out of this with more freedoms you're going to see a huge boom in the global economy right so you can position yourself to be in the right place if centralized power and centralized banks eliminate cash and take away our freedoms and silence us and all this jazz uh we're into some dark times and we're going to go into the dark times no matter what for the next one to two years so Adjust accordingly. Elder God, on my dark web visits, I come across BC as currency. Bitcoin is currency, yeah. Right? And rightfully so. Like, if you're tech savvy, if you understand what fiat currency is, if you're to a certain degree self-employed or to a certain degree have a product that you can exchange with someone product or service that you can exchange with someone without going through the banking institutions a mediary or governments or anything like this between a person and another individual and you both accept cryptocurrencies why wouldn't you trade your services or your product with crypto why wouldn't you right unless you're just holding crypto because it's going to go up bitcoin is going to go up but if you're going to buy something right the value let's say value of bitcoin is thirty thousand dollars right now which it is almost right so bitcoin is thirty thousand dollars you want to buy something at thirty thousand dollars now you have the choice to send thirty thousand dollars to this individual in fiat currency or thirty thousand dollars in bitcoin to this individual right doesn't matter to you which one you do to a certain degree if you can write off either fully or partially the thirty thousand dollar amount that you're sending to buy this product or service from this individual on your books right if you have a company or individually if you can write that off against your income right then you're getting a discount on that thirty thousand dollars because that by writing that off that kicks you down into a lower tax bracket and you can write the thirty thousand dollars off of your income or your capital gains and not pay tax on that so you probably get back if you do it properly at least ten to fifteen thousand dollars from that thirty thousand dollars right or five to fifteen thousand dollars right so this thirty thousand dollar service or product is not costing you thirty thousand dollars it's costing you anywhere between fifteen to twenty five thousand dollars right if you do it with bitcoin without going through exchanges you're doing it directly then you can't write that off so everything has its advantages and disadvantages on the other hand if you can't write that off the thirty thousand dollars and 
with the fiat currency you're just going to be spending the thirty thousand dollars right and if you have bitcoin and you think bitcoin's at a peak right now it's going to drop right and this bitcoin is not on the books and you can directly send it over to this individual to receive the service or product then and if bitcoin is at thirty thousand, you think it's going to stop there and come down then why wouldn't you do the bitcoin it's off the books all of a sudden you have a thirty thousand dollar asset that increases your wealth but it's off the books right it's private right you have anonymity for that asset and if bitcoin ends up dropping you still have thirty thousand dollars where you can buy back in let's say it goes down to eighteen thousand now you can buy back into bitcoin Ooh, now you sort of did the same thing that you would have done with the cash writing off against taxes but instead of writing off you're getting gains right so it really depends on how you want to play the market okay that's why personal finance is so personal gracchus gracchus gra am i pronouncing this right gracchus i'm too afraid of being blown out by making calls uh, yeah you could get blown out but here's the thing look it, i wouldn't recommend writing uh making any short uh naked shorts right or naked calls naked puts right if you want to write a call make sure you have that stock write it against stocks that you have don't unless you're a big time player and you have the asset if you're doing naked naked buys and sells uh that's huge risk by the way gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs apologies if i'm not uh mentioning them as they are coming in but uh, uh i sort of trying to stay uh focused on what, what i'm saying since it can uh, i just want to make sure i'm answering people uh correctly right Alagon, my trust for my government has decreased so much that going that going deep is almost a prefer, uh, preferred choice yeah and by the way gang if 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 you live in a country where you actually i don't care where you live if you actually have faith in this economic system in the western world anyway that we live under you're confused right uh there is there has been major turmoil taking place but this is not going to stabilize it's there's a lot of things happening right uh no i mean right now like for example in a lot of western countries the citizens of those countries are being paid right to stay home to not go to work which is you know if the government tells you you can't go to work they better cover you right uh, i don't know what's going on in the united states <laughs> like they they're not you know i think that's crazy but if they're preventing you from earning an income then they have an obligation to make sure you're covered but make sure you don't stay in this state you don't want to be dependent on a centralized government for your life that's a very dangerous place that you you're putting yourself and your family in right so i mentioned this to a lot of people when this whole thing came about and people said oh you know i make more money now uh than i did when i was working because you know depending on, not in the united states but in canada and other parts of the world oh this is great i'm just staying at home playing video games and doing this and doing this and doing this i said look man if you're taking this money and you're not retraining yourself you're not reinvesting in yourself right if you don't realize that this thing's not going to continue the way it is right now and if it does your money is going to be devalued and you're going to become irrelevant if you're not taking that money and 
educating yourself and learning about new things you're being foolish okay elder god capitalism in the uk must be dying the way people are trying to amass funds at the moment yeah it people are f scared epstein how are you doing hope you're doing well remember we're doing personal finance we keep politics and politics streams right politics Doop. please keep politics and other heavy subjects to their respective streams even though investing in personal finance is heavy to a certain degree but you shouldn't treat it as being heavy you should treat it as being just an aspect of life that is important that you need to know hey i like money <laughs> epstein i bet you do <laughs> i bet you do fun crab apple butter homemade and one of the best investments you can make is eat well eat healthy tart so tart thank you thank you very much for the follows guy I was in politics. It was a related field. It, it was indeed. <laughs> no, funny, funny. What are you guys investing in, by the way? What are you guys investing in? I've had students that have been gamers, right? And when I talk to them, and I talk to their parents and stuff, and their parents, when the stock market, they're going, oh, this, this, this. I go, look, man you guys should listen to your kids if they're gamers because some of the best investments that could have been made in the stock market would have been in gaming companies not necessarily because of gaming but because of the chips that they were selling for cryptos because they were fast right so a lot of parents were like trusting investment investment advisors instead of their kids watching what their kids are buying Right? that's one of the best things you can do just look around to see who's consuming what right? a flying kiwi mm, you're exactly right Chicho. i'm not sure what i'm right about but good <laughs> i hope but take it with a grain of salt no investments gang what are you guys investing in Elder God, I can take myself out of any situation, but also right into the situation. I'm looking at investing in a platform. Ah, yeah, and there's going to be alternative platforms popping up, right? The question is how to invest in those. Mm, you, Flying Kiwi, you mean about the gaming thing? Yeah, I have some money that way. Yeah, really. Like what? Like, I've tutored a lot of gamers in my life, and man, they're on top of it. What's the newest chips coming out? The graphics cards coming out? Which company is putting out the best product? Who's buying what? Like, if you're a gamer and you're seeing all this, do you have some allowance money <laughs> sitting on the side? Have a talk with your parents. Hey, mom, dad. By, you know, you guys are paying a lot of money for these invent investment advisors to manage your money. But I'm seeing some of the most important uh, new tech hitting the markets, and I know what people are consuming. So why don't you take a small percentage of that money that you're putting into the bank and giving it to these financial advisors that are taking a MIR, MER of... You know whatever percent they're only giving you one percent or whatever it is why don't you open up a little account put a little bit of money in there i'll tell you which companies are doing really well right now and we can sit down together and take a look at these companies and listen to their uh, quarterly reports and read their financials i'll learn mathematics i'll learn about economics and investing you guys might get ideas on where you can 
put your money and if that company does well i want a kickback right how about a 10 percent kickback your parents might go oh, actually you should say 20 percent right your parents might go 20 percent kickback you say well, yeah because you know you're educating me and this is a lesson for me and they go oh i don't know about that or they might say okay right if they say no maybe you can get them down to 10 percent, right or they'll get you down to 10 percent. take whatever doesn't make a difference it's a learning process once you get them hooked once you get them hooked let's say you find one company or two companies that do well your parents are like yeah this is great our son's daughter or our family's genius right and then they come out and say okay we got these ones what else you got now you can renegotiate right if they said they talk you down to 10 percent and you're only making 10 percent on their profit right 10 percent. so if they invest a thousand dollars they make two thousand dollars ten percent of the gains is a hundred dollars you get a hundred dollars right you might renegotiate and say listen that was a lot of work from my end it's not worth it for me for just 10 percent. i want 30 percent now just like ice cream sales people right an ice cream man in general gets around 30 a third of what they sell they keep right i know this because i was an ice cream man at one point in my life right so you could just say 30 percent if they say no you can say it's okay um i'm not interested but if they're hooked they'll they'll say okay money stays in the family better in the family than in the bank right probably sean chicho i think you should make investing channel in discord <laughs> this is investing channel isn't this uh personal finance i don't know i thought that's what i was doing uh probably sean oh on on discord i thought you said twitch for a second investing we have personal finance uh, channel don't we elder god i think so but we could make an investing one as well and people can recommend stocks and whatnot if you remind us uh probably i'll i'll do it or one of us will do it one of the mods will do it gracias chicho what book would you recommend for a newbie investor oh i haven't read any books on investing uh uh, all of my experience all of my knowledge is through experience i've learned through doing not through reading uh in regards to investing anyway uh not true not books anyway i've read a lot of articles uh analysis analysts uh quarterly reports from uh, like this is like 20 years ago i got into this 22 years ago i got into this right uh, quarterly reports from uh the financials of companies and stuff i have to relearn all that stuff right uh, but this is the way i would recommend follow a handful of stocks five stocks right follow five stocks read their news their news releases the company's news release listen to their quarterly reports or their yearly reports you can tune in and listen to them live right do that listen to the q a very important listen to read the analyst reports and look at their competition you will learn more about trading and the markets doing that than you would learn in reading a book right and do uh, and if you think oh this company is undervalued don't if you, if you don't know how to do it don't buy the stock but on the make a little note for yourself or hopefully you know how to use a spreadsheet by the way spreadsheet is a must if you're going into investing and you don't know how to use a spreadsheet stop learn how to use a spreadsheet before you do anything else right like there's people that don't even know how to use a spreadsheet that think they can invest how can you invest if you don't know how to use a spreadsheet like really but make a spreadsheet and say okay this stock I would have bought at this time at this price and then check back a month two months three months a year if you're going to follow it for a while see how you would have done if you're doing well in all five do what you're doing you're doing well right and when you have the money 
Do it for real. I want to destroy Facebook, Elder God says. I want to dig up MySpace from the... Oh, MySpace. I wish MySpace was still around. It is still around, but I wish uh, MySpace was what people were using instead of Facebook. MySpace was way more uh, free speech, anonymity, and all that jazz. A flying Kiwi. There doesn't seem to be an investing personal finance channel. Oh, there isn't. There's economics. Okay. A flying Kiwi will create one. We'll put it in a heavy folder. Uh, just put a reminder for me um, or for us on Discord and we'll, I will make one. Uh, we have an ec economics one or an economy one, but not an investing personal finance. We do. And gang, we have a Discord page if you're curious. Discord. And you can reach our Discord page through that. You can go to our Twitch channel anytime in the chat and type an exclamation mark Discord and the link will pop up. And it is on the page as well at the bottom of our main page. And uh, people are having a nice discussion. Weed Rum, hello, hello, how are you doing? Unfortunately, I can't read Farsi. I know, I used to be able to, but I forgot. Kafmet. Mika, I have 90% of my money in crypto and 5% of physical gold, like 80% Bitcoin and 20% altcoins. Okay. I would diversify, <laughs> tell you the truth, <laughs> right? I would, uh, it depends, like, how much it is. If 95% if of your money is what you've been able to save up for a month, and that's okay if 95 percent of your money is all your savings you've accumulated over the last 20 years you should diversify if it's only taking you a month to put all your money into this then that's okay you gotta you can do that again next month right but i would diversify uh, and you there's nothing stopping you from taking money off the table and putting it back in again right so but just if you like the if you like the the market you don't have to go all out you can just stay partially in right intrepid how are you doing it chicho how's things my friend doing well brother i hope you're doing well how goes everything are you out yet or are you still serving I, if i remember uh your military right how's the drumming going by the way you were drumming weren't you I hope things are going well with you, brother. I hope things are going well. Crazy times indeed. Crab apple butter. More crab apple butter. I hope you're snacking well, gang. I hope you're snacking well. Salute. Nice and tart. Nice and tart. Nice and tart. We're almost coming up two hours, gang. Fun stream. Way chiller than yesterday's stream. Yesterday went hard with current events, right? Especially since we know we're going to upload that to YouTube. We could let loose a little bit. But I think I'm going to take it easy a little bit from next time. And gang, don't forget... Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, please see our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist. Elder God, sub, sub, sub. Oh, which sub? Heavy folder? What? Is that what we're talking about? I don't know. And by the way, gang, we do have a personal finance and uh, investing playlist on YouTube. And we've loaded a lot of those videos up on BitChute as well. And we do have a cryptocurrency playlist on YouTube. And we've loaded a lot of those videos on Bit BitChute as well. And they are really good videos on there. Okay. Epstein, I don't really know I should invest or pay my student loans is about 12,000k 
what do um if your student loans i'm assuming you're paying very very low interest right it really depends on what your interest is on those student loans what your minimum payment is on those student loans and if you don't pay off the student loans then what are you doing with your money if you're blowing your money right parting your ass off you're not investing that money to be get money then sure start paying off your student loan get out of debt right because at some point interest rates are going to go through the roof right but if you're taking that money and getting a higher return on the investment than you would have paid interest on the student loan then keep that going right intrepid wow that was quite some time ago haha <laughs> but no i never ended up going in i'm an iron worker now with my old man and brother nice got to get up for work in about three hours three hours dude go to sleep what are you doing up go to sleep go to sleep we're almost ending the stream as well intrepid and tell you the truth i'm glad you didn't go in brother i'm glad you didn't go in okay i've seen i'm paying 80 percent 80 per month right now 80 per month but that doesn't mean like is that the bare minimum uh, so some people just pay the interest right some people have student loans and all they do is just they're servicing the debt so all they do every month is just pay the interest so that twelve thousand, which is crazy right so that twelve thousand dollars that they have in debt right stays at twelve thousand dollars and every month they just pay eight eighty eighty dollars or whatever the interest is to service that debt so that that never goes down so 20 years from now whatever interest rates are doing you're going to be paying more per interest and you're still going to owe that money not the best way to manage your finances you love the book ready player one we watched a movie i have never read the book you must be a fash fascis chicho you seem like someone familiar with uh, permaculture mm, i grow uh you're talking about food yes that insane <laughs> all the god says yeah yeah that movie was great design how so you must beef i'm gonna say you must beef ascii you must beef ascii what do you mean permaculture design funky lunky in what way like funky lunky it's really cool how they're making that game based off it are they making a game based off the book that uh, must be i guess i'm gonna do permaculture 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 is a set of design principles centered on whole system systems thinking simultaneously so holistically or directly utilizing the pattern resilient features observed in natural ecosystems yeah i do look at the look at everything through a holistic point of view for sure cheryl permaculture is awesome cheryl you know me uh, do I know about permaculture? You found out about it on TikTok, funky lanky. Really? Is that what you found out about it? That's cool. At least parts. I know a little bit. Not much. I have friends that do the design. Uh, like, I, I'm lucky. I live in an area where... Uh, working in harmony with nature is a big topic really i've known i know people who've who've designed their own homes who are uh using black water going through the system they have ponds going uh heating heating their water through um compost and i've seen some of these designs it's pretty cool it's pretty cool would you believe that uh half an acre lot could feed 200 families yeah uh, yeah not everything you couldn't feed them everything right partial partially you could feed a lot right uh you could but then you would have to supplement the diet i don't know half an acre but you could grow a lot of 
vegetables in half an acre right but you also need your protein you also need other things right Cheryl I had meant to say you know much more than you realize funky larky yeah laugh out loud I don't know if I should invest in the land still skeptical but it seems like a real cool idea Rob Ling Liguni Horny I got into I got into I put like fifty dollars into it thirty percent profit so far Earth Two I O is pretty cool pretty good really they got the whole thing going and trap it what would your advice be for a couple of wanting to get out of the parents house in the next few years but not knowing whether or not getting an apartment or something like that would be the best route i get worried when it comes to renting and what not because i want to make sure you can pay for all the necessities but save at the same time here's the thing intrepid there's nothing wrong as long as you have a really good relationship with family and stuff like this there's nothing wrong with moving out and renting a space and learning how that process works right so when you step away from the nest when you rent a place all of a sudden you learn it's sort of an education process now make sure you're not going to go into a hole and you if you need to you can move back again right make sure you have that deal going on because you might have not accounted for anything but you can do it in waves right do it in a wave see how it works out maybe you have to downsize maybe you can upsize right um saving is important for sure but more important is investing make sure you know uh how to preserve and the, the, the before investing is preserving your capital right don't blow your money which is really just balancing the books uh, my advice would be look into the markets don't ha don't go overboard uh intrepid don't if you're going to move into an apartment if you're going to first of all buy look at the apartment look into the monthly fees it, sometimes they're they can break you right but if you're going to rent someplace uh don't go extravagant right off the bat uh go slow don't go don't go rent a place or buy a place and buy a ton of furniture that's one of the things that a lot buy tons of furniture all, all of a sudden you got all these payments you have to make you got all this furniture you got to deal with go low low end right go in slowly it's just like anything just put your feet into the water slowly and get a feel for what it is that you really want go for us i started investing in geothermal greenhouse back in september just finished uh the build last week awesome that's a good thing to do you save a lot of money growing your own food 100 percent of their diet protein included really that's pretty good on half an acre 200 people that's pretty damn good horny yes uh you should check it out what are we checking out how would that be rotational grazing cool made fresh daily sorry just got into chat but you were the one talking about 200 families in half an acre uh, that's what uh you must be you must beef ASCII. Look up corn. Cornish cross. About ninety-five percent in crypto. I started saving four years ago, and is in my late twenties. Cool. Uh, I wouldn't keep ninety-five percent in crypto, brother, or sister, of course. Uh, I wouldn't. And chickens, uh, chickens are good for sure starting with renting at an airbnb mm. 
Cheryl says, can't rotational graze on a half an acre for 200 people without killing the soil. Even Cornish cross without goats or some uh, somewhere inputs. I'm not sure if renting in an Airbnb is a cost effective way of renting. Have I read the Bitcoin standard, the white, sh the white sheets from uh, uh, what's his name uh mush whatever yeah yeah i put out a lot of videos on crypto i, I was into bitcoin in 2010 uh, i was even mining bitcoin in 2010 also go where there are lots of opportunities yeah chickens cheryl yes yeah maybe this earth is done and virtual is next i hope not yeah it's a site you can uh horny it's a site where you can use to invest in virtual land it's pretty good it's kind of like ready player one huh cool and that is a possibility for sure uh tech we're just at still at the beginning stages of tech there's legacy tech companies out there youtube is a legacy tech company now right there's huge exodus out of youtube right there's a lot of disruptive animation kicking in virtual re earth there's gamers that make money off games that's it is possible sure no it's from a guy called uh, so, uh not the white paper not the white paper okay um i don't know i uh, i've read a lot of bitcoin stuff like again i got into it early it is comparing bitcoin to the gold standard yeah 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 i know about that about the history of money yeah are we talking about nick zabo calf met uh fika are you talking about nick zabo money to choose <laughs> gang we're also no but nick is also great nick is fantastic yeah I put out a playlist. If you go to uh, here, let me find it for you, Calf Med. You'll like this. You'll like this. Here's my personal finance playlist. Let me find it for you. Personal finance playlist. Where's my personal finance playlist? Personal finance. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Here's my personal finance playlist. Okay. Doink. now in that playlist take a look at da, 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 da. you can look at everything if you want look into uh, personal finance currency money and the economy part one and part two i mentioned nick zabo's paper uh, the history of money in uh, this video in part one and then follow this up with part two and that's where i do the comparison with bitcoin and whatnot these videos are phenomenal by the way gang i'm just letting you know i'm tooting my own horn but uh they're fantastic okay oops sorry about that uh this video and then follow it up with the second video cool i will check it out uh and if you want you can start off from the top uh, the first eight videos i really planned out really well just to make sure it was solid information for people to follow regarding personal finance take what i say in those videos to heart okay really and we do have a cryptocurrency playlist as well of course been lurking tonight having trouble sleeping again twitching jason oh do some meditation twitching jason by the way gang i've, I've been doing the standing meditation every day now so i'm 10 days in a row right now and I'm, I'm up and i'm up to 22 minutes holding the standing standing meditation the shigong standing meditation highly recommend highly recommend right there's one day where we're running short on time so i cut it short but still did it okay High intensity badge twitching jason i recently paid off my uh penal Penultimate 
student loan student loan so i have my last one left sitting at 4.4 percent interest sort of passively looking for something i might be able to invest in to outpace that interest rate over the next six months i know it's a bit of a long shot it could be a bit of a long shot uh if you don't if you're not actively flipping okay and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information please see our julian assange and wikileaks playlist twitching jason otherwise with serious intensity i should be able to pay off the last loan by june and be completely debt free twitching jason unless you're willing to go short on certain things because things are in a bubble i would say pay off your debt really 22 minutes exactly uh 22 minutes i don't i'm not looking at a clock so when i go to do the meditation i by the time i get into my position i give it a, a minute plus and then when i finish the meditation i do a quick little stretch and i check the time so 22 minutes 21 20 22 plus or minus gang let's call the stream thank you for being here thank you for the follows gang thank you for the subs thank you for participating in the discussion thank you for being here uh, thank you for sharing information i need to know for the math what do you need to know for the math now oh, god what do you have in mind for that uh cover crop hey chicho cosmic vision how are you doing goodbye gang funky lurky goodbye thanks for all this advice uh, my pleasure take everything we said here with a with a grain of salt gang thanks for my pleasure twitching jason i hope you get some uh, good sleep you also have the issue of birds of prey birds of prey that's right they eat your chickens chicken hawks gang i am on patreon oops that's not the patreon one this is the patreon one i am on patreon don't leave it we're over two hours uh cosmic vision uh i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work if you want to follow this work if you want to know what this work is about which is basically layered on mathematics patreon is a great way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share like you can follow the work and if you think this work deserves your support and if you do have the means to do so support this work through patreon it guarantees us doing what it is that we are doing and we can plan out and roll out new things and for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this where i can do the calculus and figure out what's going on right we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e thank you for being here gang thank you for the subs thank you for the follows cosmic vision love you take care you too as well you too as well and gang mods thank you for being here and taking care of business and participating in the discussions and thank you for all the information gang and the love of course i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo minds vk gap and twitter and we do share additional content there we also do have a discord page where there's a lot of people sharing a lot of information uh, we have like almost 700 people there and you can come to our uh twitch channel anytime you want in the chat type in exclamation mark social and all the links will pop up including our discord channel right there at the bottom where you can join the discussion if you would like to we will be uploading the audio for this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as a podcast and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream to both bit and youtube and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by sharing liking subscribing commenting um, participating in some of the discussion in the comments and if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership and there's a button there and there's a handful of people that have joined youtube membership and thank you very much for the support gang and don't forget to turn on notifications guaranteed to get your notifications through bit not so sure about the youtube gang i hope you have a fantastic evening 
I'm going to be busy uploading the videos for the next few days and I'll announce the next set of videos uh, in a in a few days. This is the last one that we're doing for this set. So expect the next set to be announced in the next two to three days or so. Intrepid, have a good night or day, folks. Thanks, Chicho. My pleasure, Intrepid. And thank you, everyone, for popping in. Gang, I hope you have a fantastic next few days. And I'll see you on Discord if you're on there. Bye, everyone.